Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today I am doing my favorite video of the month. So this is for July. It's coming in a little bit late, but hey, I have all of the products that I have just been loving, excuse my phone. I hope you guys enjoy this video and see something new and cool today. I will link everything down below in the description box. So um, yeah, if you're new, subscribe. I mean, what are you doing? If you're watching the video and you love the vibe here, my name is Karina Waldron, become a part of our family, subscribe, help us reach 100K before 2021 ends. And uh, let's jump into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with fragrances. I have a few to talk about, so let's just jump into it. First of all, I have an empties, okay? Okay, this is a bubble bath from Maison Margiela. As you guys can see, it is pretty much done. And I love this scent for a specific thing, my bedroom. Guys, I was spraying this on my sheets every day after I made my bed. And when you get in the room, it just smells like a spa. It was super relaxing, fresh, clean. It's like the perfect scent for your bed sheets. And yes, I do spray my bed sheets and my headboard with fragrances. And this is like the perfect one. On the skin, it was nice. It's like an everyday scent, very casual, very, very casual. But in my room, it literally smelled like a spa. I think I'm gonna get another bottle because out of all of the fragrances that I've sprayed on on my bed sheets. This is probably my favorite one. It just has a beautiful vibe. And again, every time I entered my room, it literally smelled like I stepped into the most relaxing spa ever. So that is Bubble Bath from Maison Margiela, the replica line. Uh, now for fragrances that I have been wearing on my skin, I have four in front of me right now that I'm going to talk about, starting with Teja de Joy from Giorgio Armani. Look the dent. Guys, look at this dent. I have been wearing this fragrance almost every single morning for the last couple of weeks. I love the way that this smells. It really just lightens up my mood. It makes me smile. It makes me happy. And I think it's just a beautiful everyday summer scent. Whether I'm leaving the house, go run errands, or I am just going to be chilling at home, this is the scent that I love to spray on myself first thing in the morning. I go in my bathroom, I do my thing, freshen up, brush my teeth, skincare, and then I get this and I just douse myself in it. And I love the way that this smells. I definitely over spray. That's why I'm pretty much halfway done. And I've had this fragrance for what? Not even a month, I don't think. <laughs> Um, I definitely overspray, especially on my clothes, but I just love how it reminds me of the sun. It's like a sunshine in a bottle. That's what it is. It's beautiful, 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 very like light, airy, every day, a hint of sweetness, but nothing, nothing like that you can actually call a sweet fragrance. This is just the sun in a bottle. So I've been wearing this so much and I'm probably, by the end of the summer, I feel like I'm going to finish this whole bottle to be quite honest, because I need to spray it on myself every single morning. It's beautiful. The next fragrance that I'm going to talk about is, of course, MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540 Extreme Parfum. Listen to me, listen to me. When people say that this is a compliment magnet, I am not kidding you. This fragrance, I wore this for an entire two weeks, two weeks straight, every time I was kind of like going to do something like going to dinner with the hubby. Um, we went to brunch with the kids and there was another time where we went to dinner somewhere else, downtown Toronto. Listen, compliments and questions. <laughs> is insane. I went to brunch. It was around 11:30 AM and we were standing in line waiting to get seated. And I was wearing this scent and the waitress, after a couple of minutes, she came to me and she's like, are you wearing Baccarat Rouge? Because I can smell it from a mile away. <laughs> and I said, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. She's like, I love that scent. And when you walked close to me, it reminded me of my mom because that's her signature scent. And so it's really memorable. It's a beautiful scent. She's like, you have really great taste. I'm like, thank you. This is, this is my baby right here. It's so good. And then another time my husband and I went to a jewelry store and we were there for a little while, just looking at some little things. <laughs> 
<laughs> something new is coming coming soon. But um, I was wearing this one and the sales associate again came to me and she's like, are you wearing Baccarat Rouge? I'm like, yes I am. She's like, the best fragrance ever. It is sexy, it's everything. I love it, I can smell it. I knew you were wearing that one. And like there were so many compliments. It's kind of crazy. This is like, this and Delina are like my top compliment getters. Like no matter where I am, someone will ask me what am I wearing or compliment the fragrance. It is just compliment magnet. I love it. I love that I could do that. And I have mixed this with other fragrances and this is the most prominent. This will always stand out when mixing with other fragrances. Somehow the DNA of the scent, when you've smelled it, it's unforgettable. And when you smell it on someone else, you're like, I know what you're wearing. And the fragrance that I did layer this with this week, actually on the weekend, when my husband and I went for dinner together was Killian Love Don't Be Shy Extreme. I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. This one, I don't, I'm trying to, I'm trying to really understand the difference between the original and this one. This has a little bit of a freshness to it. It has a floral tone that's a little bit more visible and it's just uh, beautiful. It's still very sweet. I'm not gonna lie. This is still a very sweet fragrance, but there's a little bit more character and sophistication. And so I have been really, really enjoying this fragrance a lot. I've actually got quite a bit of a dent. I'll see if you guys can kind of see that from there. There's quite a bit of a dent in that fragrance just because I've been wearing it a bit. And when I layered these two together, it was a beautiful match. Like they just smell gorgeous, but this definitely, definitely overpowered Love Don't Be Shy Extreme, not gonna lie, but I've just been, I've been loving it. And then the next fragrance that I have and the last fragrance that I have in my favorites is Kayali Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. This is a vacation in a bottle. Honestly, it is beautiful. I've been spending a lot of time at the beach. It's very hot in Canada, very humid, and I'm taking advantage of all of it and soaking up all the sun, honey. Anytime I have a chance to run to the beach with the kids girl I am there and this scent over here has been perfection for that it just smells so 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 good mm, coconut dreams in a bottle oh yeah creamy coconut goodness it's delicious. This is a delicious fragrance that is a little sensual at the same time, very wearable, very decadent. And yeah, I think they did an incredible job. I've been really, really loving this one for daily wear. No matter where I'm going, it just kind of goes, it just flows. And the beach, it really does. <laughs> It speaks to me. Um, I definitely overspray. I go ham with this one. I have quite a bit of a dent with this one already, but I really, really enjoy it. When I'm finished, I probably will pick up another bottle. It's not the most long lasting on me. I'll be totally transparent, but I still very much love it. And if I overspray, especially on my clothes, I'm good to go all day long. And to makeup, I don't have a ton of product to talk about actually, but I have a few. Starting with Tom Ford. I recently hauled a few Tom Ford products when it comes to their makeup selection. I actually have a video trying them on. I will link it over here for you guys. I have it in Golden Almond, which is definitely a little darker for me. This is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I would definitely go lighter. <sighs> this is just beautiful. It's so flawless on the skin. It looks just you know, naturally flawless. It's not too heavy. I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now. It's not too heavy. It covers everything that you need. It blends like a dream, like literally with my foundation brush, this one over here, this is the Morphe E31 tapping it on and it just, it's blending. It's blending itself out. It is gorgeous. A little goes a long way because it does have quite a bit of coverage in my opinion. Like I do one pump, one and a half, and I am good to go. It covers what I need it to cover without it looking masky and heavy and still lets my skin texture um, and little, little flaws, little flaws shine through to make the skin still remain natural. 
love this one so much. Um, another Tom Ford product, this should not be a surprise to you guys, is the Badass Mascara. What? Are you kidding me right now? This is definitely one of the best mascaras that I have tried. It is just perfection on your lashes. I have it on right now. I always feel like I have false lashes when I try this mascara. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up on camera, but it literally adds volume, length, and a curl, and it gives your lashes this kind of wispy finish. It's gorgeous. Like, love, love, love it. It's definitely a pretty penny for mascara, but I think it's worth every single penny. Has a pretty large uh, brush right there. And you kind of have to be careful with the brush. I'm not gonna lie. It is kind of, um, it's, it's a tough plastic material. So you have to be careful. And the bristles on the brush are very short, but I find it really grabs onto every lash and really pulls them up. And because there's so many tiny little brushes, it just goes in between every lash and really gives this beautiful wispy effect. It's just my favorite right now. It is my favorite right now. This one and the Huda Beauty Legit Lash, but I like this one better because it doesn't clump up my lashes at all. Next up, I have an oldie but a goodie. I am really hoping that this is not limited edition or they have it as an individual thing, but this is from Charlotte Tilbury. I've been going through my makeup collection because I have to do a major declutter. If you guys wanna see a video on that, let me know. But I used this little palette over here. It's called the Glowgasm Face Palette, and it has blushes, highlight, and a bronzer. The bronzer is what I'm wearing right now, um, along with this blush over here. I slightly put a bit of the highlighter. The only color that I don't use too often is this one over here. I'll give you guys a bit of a close up right there. So this is the color that I barely use, but all three I love so much. The bronzer, what is called? Pop Blush Multi Glow Highlighting Illuminator and Bronze. Okay, so the bronzer is just this beautiful bronzer that is very soft. It has a luminosity to it, so it just looks really beautiful on the skin. Very easy to use. I love that I can build up the color. It's, it's a gorgeous formula, and I put this on top of my cream bronzer. Um, I have on the Tom Ford cream bronzer underneath that and I put this one on top. So the blush is beautiful. It's like this pretty kind of peachy tone um, with a little bit of the gold highlighter on top. Like I literally just tap the highlighter just slightly, ever so slightly to give a bit of a luminous feel to the skin and the cheeks and I just love this. I've been using it quite a bit, especially for that summer glowy look without doing too much perfection. And the very last makeup product is the new Bite Beauty lipsticks. Oh my goodness. What are these called? These are called, ooh, do, 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 do. I don't know what they're called. Something matte. I will link it down below, but this is a new formula to Bite Beauty. They already have a bunch of gorgeous lip products, but this formula is stunning. This color is one of my favorites, but I also have a red that I cannot get over. It's upstairs in my room. I couldn't find it anywhere. I have to look for it but that red is stunning. I will link the red down below. It's like this red with almost this raspberry undertone. Oh, it's so good. And then this one over here, I'll give you guys a bit of a close up right there. It's like this mauve tone. Yeah, it's a mauve tone and it's so pretty. It has a matte finish without it drying out my lips. That's the thing with me lately. I can't do super, super matte products because my lips will look very chapped and dry. But this formula I can get down with and it looks so beautiful on the lips. All women here, I know my analytics. I have grown folks watching my channel, but um, I suffered from UTIs a lot, a lot, a lot. And I tend to get prescribed antibiotics all the time, which I get tired of and I try natural remedies like cranberry juice and all of that good stuff. But I added these three um, items to my daily routine or even weekly routine and it has made such 
a difference, guys. I've been doing this for about a month and a half, well, actually two months now, and I have noticed a really big difference, and it feels so good not to, you know, think about that kind of issue. Uh, starting with Good Girl Probiotics, this little guy over here. This calls for two tablets a day, but honestly, I only take one, and sometimes I skip a day just because I don't want my body to get used to medication or any pills whatsoever. I don't want it to get super hooked on it. So that's why I do that. Sometimes I even skip two days. <laughs> that's just my way of thinking. I could be doing this completely wrong. I'm not a doctor or anything like that, but that's how I do it anyways. And this is amazing. It's so, so good. It really helps regulate things for us ladies. And I'm just so glad that I have it in my life now. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon. There are a couple of websites that you can get it from, but I will link it down below for you guys. And to be totally honest, I kind of want to do a video on how to smell and maintain your beauty from within. If you guys want to see a video like that, let me know. I'm talking about certain um, vitamins that you can take, drinking water, uh, body scrubs, body oils, and just different things that will make a world of a difference in terms of smelling good from within and out. And trust me, some of these little tips and tricks will make a difference in terms of how your fragrance reacts to your skin and the lasting ability. So, let me know if you guys want to see a video like that. That would be actually pretty cool. Um, and I don't see a ton of ladies talking about that. So let me know. The next one is uh, cranberry. These little vitamins over here. I just picked this up at Shoppers Drug Mart and I take these ones daily along with other vitamins like iron um, and stuff like that. It's really, really good for your body. I get very low iron, so I have to take it on a daily basis. But this is another one that I added to my routine. It's really good for down there. Like it regulates things real well and just keeps you fresh, clean, and smelling really good. You will notice a difference with this one uh, without giving too much information information here on this video. And then this is one that I saw a drastic change within three days. I'm, I'm like, I'm kidding you. I'm not kidding you right now. This is amazing. If you are a lady that suffers from UTIs or um, BV or anything like that, don't be ashamed. If you need the help, you need the help. It's totally normal. We all react differently to certain things that we do, um, certain foods that we eat. Uh, even the fabric of your underwear makes a huge difference. So this is boric acid. And this one I picked up off of Amazon. It looks like that. And you use this as you need it. Like you use it until you notice a difference and you can kind of alternate to once a week. That's what I do. Again, read the instructions, maybe talk to your doctor. But I used this for about four days straight and I saw like a huge, huge difference in just the way that I felt and how things regulated down there and all of that good stuff. And then after that, I use it once a week and I am good to go. Sometimes I go without a, without using it that week and just kind of skip an entire week. But trust me, ladies, if you're getting prescribed all kind of medication, all kind of antibiotics, all kind of creams and whatnot, stop, get this, talk to your doctor if you have to, get this and let me know if it works out for you. Trust me, this really helped me. Like I feel so much more confident and amazing after I kind of switched up my routine in terms of taking care of my body from within. It just, it boosts up my confidence so much. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video like that. I don't mind talking about certain topics when it comes to feminine hygiene. I think it's important. It's helpful because some of us don't know about these things. So leave a comment down below. On that note, I did wanna talk about these little vitamins over here real quick. For all of my mommies out there that are looking for vitamins for your children that are actually good and not filled with sugar and all of these other fillers because a ton of the times when you look at vitamins, they are full of nonsense to the point that there's no 
reasoning to even take it. You know what I mean? You're not gonna receive the benefit of taking a vitamin. But these ones over here are called Smarty Pants Organics. These are vegetarian kids formula. And the kids take these once a day. It's not their favorite fa flavor because it's not overly sweet. Again, they've taken out much of the sweetness, <laughs> a lot of the extra junk in there. So it's not like, amazingly sweet and delicious, but it's still quite a little bit sweet. Um, and I think it's great. Like the ingredient list is short and to the point, which I love. Again, there's not a bunch of nonsense and it just looks like that. I picked up this large one from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's a little bit pricier than like $10, you know, it definitely is. I think this was like 35 or 36, around that price point in Canadian dollars, but it's well worth it. I mean. It's for your kids. So they have been taking these. And again, I'm really trying to get them also used to taking care of their body from within. Uh, so when they're older, they're in the habit of doing that. I have I have four skincare products to talk about. This is from Olay. It's their cleansing and brightening body wash. I've seen this on Instagram so many times. They've partnered up with quite a few influencers that I know and don't even know. And I see it on ads all the time. And and the pipe is real. This is one of my favorite formula for a body uh, body wash. It feels so luxurious and creamy and I love the scent of it. I really enjoy that it's a humongous bottle so this lasts me a really, really long time. And again, it's this thick, creamy texture that I have just been loving. I have about halfway to go before I have to purchase another one. And I believe they have a few different ones to select from. This is with vitamin C and it's uh, cleansing and brightening. They have firming, they have hydrating formula. I just love the texture of it so much. And I find Olay really has great skincare products from face to actually body care. So don't sleep on Olay. The next product here is from Fenty Skin and it's their Total Cleanser. This, to remove your makeup, is a dream. Honestly, it almost feels like I'm putting an oil cleanser, just how well it removes my makeup, but it's definitely like a traditional cleanser in terms of the formula. It's creamy in texture, a little goes a long way, but when it removes my makeup, I don't even need to go in with anything extra. Like it literally removes everything from my mascara to my blush, to my foundation, my lipstick. It's incredible. The only thing that it won't remove is liquid lipstick. I definitely have to go in with a uh, cleansing oil. But other than that, I feel super refreshed when I use this product and I don't find that it strips my natural oils. I don't find that squeaky clean feeling, but all of my makeup is completely gone. The next skincare product that I have is from Summer Friday. This is the Cloud Dew Cream over here. Now I've had this for a little while, but I had so many other moisturizers to get through and I was working for a few with a few brands like Clarins and Olay. But finally I got a chance to play around with this like steady steady for a good month and I love this. It feels so good on the skin, especially when I pair it up with my Clarins Double Serum. It's just like, oh, it's creamy. Not creamy, it's like water and cream in one. It's very refreshing, very, very hydrating, not sticky at all. It feels so good on the skin. I really, really love this one. So I've been using this one exclusively. I have quite a bit of a dent if you guys can see right there and I'm just gonna finish it all up but I have been really enjoying this and it doesn't disturb my makeup whatsoever when I go in with a foundation right away. So love that. Last but not least, I have two accessories to talk about. First of all, my glasses. These sunglasses I wear so often, hello, hello, and I get so many compliments and questions, especially when I post it on Instagram. These these are one of my favorite sunglasses and guess what honey these were ten dollars on Amazon yes these are like a dupe for I don't know which brand maybe Ray-Ban maybe Burberry I can't even remember but I love them they're definitely delicate so you want to be careful with them and take care of them because they're very thin but they just look so good in pictures and in person like so so good I will link it down below and I will link down below my entire Amazon storefront because I do I do have all of the products that I buy from Amazon that I love there so check these out these are worth the price point 100% and then my 
very last accessories that I'm going to shout out because I've been wearing this literally all of the time is this Gucci bag over here that I've had for a mm, couple of months now, couple of months now. And I just love her so much. She's very dainty. She's very small, very delicate. I know I'm crazy for getting an off-white bag like this to wear on a regular basis, but I'm telling you, this is so good. I don't baby her. Okay. I do not baby her and she still looks gorgeous. And I just wipe it down from time to time, but I wear this all the time like th this is like my go-to bag when i don't want to carry a ton of stuff and you can't fit a ton of stuff in here the only thing i can fit in here is my phone my wallet i'll open it up for you guys it's tiny in here super tiny i fit my wallet over here which is kind of like a wallet card holder style it's still quite bulky and i also fit my phone in here and I can fit my keys. That is it. If I don't put my keys in here, I can fit a little lip balm in here or a little lipstick. And that's it. That's, that's all you're going to get from this one. So if you're looking for just like an everyday cute little bag, I love this Gucci one so much. And again, the quality is really good. I don't feel like I need to baby it and it's not super delicate. And the cool thing about this bag is you can wear it as a clutch. You can wear it as a handbag. Um, this kind of string here, string, <laughs> The hardware can be situated in different ways. There's a ton of videos on YouTube about it because of this little clip that it has over here. You can really play around with this bag and wear it in different ways. You can even wear it as a belt bag. So super, super cute. If you guys want videos on like luxury product reviews or just my opinion on certain luxury products that I own, let me know. That would be kind of cool. That would be cool. So yeah, guys, that is it for my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw something new and cool today. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Oh, don't forget to leave your comments down below and let me know your favorites of the month. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're not already and uh, give this video a thumbs up as it really helps me reach more people and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao.